All right, now we are going to measure the current through the output tubes. This amp is cathode biased using a 200 ohm resistor. I just need to see what this current level is and then we'll adjust it as necessary. I expect it's way too high for the 6V6s. So I see 19 volts. All right, we'll just call it 19.5. All right, we'll check that on the calculator. So we have 19.5 volts divided by 200 ohms. That's 97 milliamps total. You divide that by two. That's 48.7 milliamps per tube. So that's really running those 6V6s hard. I'm going to be changing out the 200 ohm bias resistor, I've already landed a terminal board. So we'll get that off of there and adjust the bias and get those tubes under control. All right, here is the easy non-scientific method for adjusting the cathode resistor and setting the current on your output tubes. So you're gonna have a milliamp meter in line with the cathodes of those tubes. So remember, initially we had a 200 ohm resistor we're pulling way too much current. I want to half that current, so I'm going to target around no more than 30 milliamps per tube. So since we had a 200, let's put a 400 ohm in series, okay? So now the milliamp meter is hooked to ground, it passes through the meter, goes through the resistor, and then to the cathode of the tube. All right, let's plug it in and see what we get. I'm going to plug in the amplifier and now we're going to monitor the direct DC milliamps going through those output tubes. Now remember this is both of them. Somewhere around 65 milliamps total so like 33 milliamps per tube. Okay, I'd rather go under that a little bit. So let's put in a 470 ohm resistor and repeat the test. What's nice about doing it this way is you're actually seeing the live current through those tubes. You don't have to calculate it. Now I've got a 470 ohm resistor in series. You can see we're under 60 milliamps so that's under 30 milliamps per tube. I'm going to go with that. 